I'm Deborah Borchardt, and this is your Marijuana Money Minute. This week, Cushco Holdings reported their earnings, and they had dropped significantly. Revenue was down by 46% because the company has shifted towards a focus on larger, more financially stable customers. They have tightened the credit on the smaller ones who are less secure. As a result, the quarter's revenues were $22 million and it's missed analyst estimates. It also missed their own estimates. And the net losses increased slightly to $13 million, but their expenses fell by 50%, mostly due to the COVID pandemic. Jushi Holdings reported that their total revenue increased 43% sequentially to $8.6 million in the first quarter. They also delivered a net loss in the quarter of $15.8 million. The company said that the net losses were down slightly from the previous quarter. They were in the range of $200 and $250 million. Well, we heard this week from the Cannabis Law Report that the SEC has told High Times to quit selling its shares because it hasn't filed its annual report. That is something it has to do each year. The last time High Times filed its financial annual report was June 2019 so it can no longer sell these shares. Now, High Times has said that it filed for a delay due to COVID, and the SEC said that, hey, that's fine. You still have to report it. You can start selling your shares once you file those numbers. Now, it's interesting that the accountants can't make it in to do the financial audit, but those acquisition lawyers apparently are hard at work. Well, it seems we're getting closer to convenience stores selling cannabis. Fire and Flower announced that they're opening two dispensaries right next door to Circle K. Now, this shouldn't surprise anyone because Alimentation Couchard, who owns Circle K, is a huge investor in Fire and Flower. But for now, they're only next door and they think they're going to get a lot of traffic from those Circle K customers. The cannabis tissue company Conception Nurseries raised $15 million this week in a Series A round. And we have two new psilocybin companies to announce. Canna Global Wellness was launched this week. It's a combination of Canna Global, Sincero Life Sciences, and Rise Wellness. The company's chairman is Lauren Gertner, who was the founder of Tokyo Smoke. And then Susie Chappelle is the CEO of Haven Life. They are going to be developing a range of psilocybin products to be used by researchers. And that's it for this week. I'm Deborah Borchart with the Green Market Report.